Welcome to Virtualize Everything. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to download and install a Debian 12 server on your Proxmox system. The first thing we're going to need to do is go over to the debian.org slash downloads website, which you see here in front of us, and procure a link to the download site for the Debian 12 ISO. In order to do that, we're going to go ahead and right click here and we're going to copy link address. And that's going to be the Debian 12.5 AMD net install ISO. Then we're going to head over to our Proxmox server and we're going to select our drive. Today I'm going to be using storage, but most of you probably will have your local drive. Either way, it's going to be your drive that you're storing your ISO images in. Then we're going to select ISO images and download from URL. With down load from URL window up, we'll go ahead and we'll paste in that URL that we got from the website and hit query URL. What query URL is going to do is move the file name from the URL into the file name into the file name box where we'll be down where it'll be applied to the downloaded file. Now we want to make sure we click advanced and advanced will bring up this part of a window. Here for hash algorithm, we'll select it and we'll select 256. Going back to the Debian website, we're going to hit download SHAR 512 sums. And this is actually going to be a SHAR 512 sum and not a 256 sum, as I stated before. But let's go ahead and copy the whole entire sum for the Debian 12.5 AMD net installer and head back to the Proxmox web interface, fixing the hash algorithm to 512, pasting the sum in where it says checksum. Now we can go ahead and hit download and our file will start downloading. I'll be back with you when this is finished to show you the next steps. So now that our ISO image is downloaded and the checksum has been verified, we're able to continue on. The way we know that this is been completed is it says task OK right here at the bottom of the window. If you close the window during the download process, you'll actually be able to click down here in the log and open that window again, scrolling to the bottom we again see task OK. So the next steps are going to be to create our VM that we're going to use to actually run Debian 12. To do this, we'll head up to the top right hand corner of the screen where it says create VM. First thing we're going to need to do when this window appears is give it a title. I'll be calling mine Debian 12 today. Pressing next, we can go ahead and select our ISO, which is the Debian 12.5 that we just downloaded, leaving the guest OS as Linux. Pressing next, we can go ahead and leave our system information all alone, minus the QEMU agent. We want to check that. That's going to allow our Proxmox later on to communicate with the guest operating system to get information like IP addresses and more up-to-date information like CPU and memory usage. Clicking next for disks, we can make the appropriate adjustments depending on what we need. For us, we're going to be leaving the default 32 gigs alone as it'll be plenty for our demonstration. One note is if you're using an SSD, you want to make sure you go ahead and click the discard box. Myself today, I'm going to be using a platter drive, so I won't be checking this box. Clicking next, we can go ahead and configure CPUs. I'm going to configure two. And although the type of x86 64 v2 ESA is a legitimate type and probably wants to be used in a lot of cases, especially if you have clusters and with different CPU types and whatnot that could have different, that could impact the running of your VM if they were transferred. I'm going to go ahead and change mine to host CPU type as I find I get a little bit better performance out of the host CPU type rather than the default Proxmox CPU type. Now I'm going to go ahead and press next and we'll leave two gigs of memory here so we can hit next and I'm going to use my default VMBR0 bridge. Make sure you change this if you have other network configurations or bridges set up. Pressing next we can confirm all of this information and press finish. After pressing finish, Proxmox will begin building our VM for us. And we see it appear here on the left-hand side screen today called 106. The VM ID is important to note in some cases because this will allow you to command line configure this VM if custom configuration is needed. For today's tutorial, custom configuration won't be needed as this is basically a simple 
entry-level VM showing you how to set up Debian Server. If you're still with us at this point and you are not looking for a Proxmox install of Debian Server, the rest of this tutorial will be able to be used for that fact. So go ahead and stay with us and we'll show you the steps you need to install Debian Server instead of Debian Desktop from the Debian 12 ISO. So now that our system has created the VM, we can go ahead and press Start and Console and we're going to hit the down arrow, choosing Install and press Enter. Now we can start the installation process by selecting the English language by pressing and since I'm in the United States, I'm going to press enter again at United States. Now note, if you're somewhere else, you can go ahead and use your arrow keys to move around and select the options that you need. Again, I'll be pressing enter for American English. It's going to ask us to give the system a host name. I'll be using Debian 12 today. Feel free to configure your system's host name as desired. After entering it, let's go ahead and press enter and it'll ask for a domain name. I'll be calling mine local today. Again, this is something you can configure and if you don't want to use a domain name, just go ahead and press enter at a blank screen. For my root password, let's go ahead and enter it and press enter. We're asked to re-enter the password, so let's do so and press enter username account name and our user password and re-enter to verify pressing enter at the end of each of these steps now we're asked to select our time zone eastern is correct for me so i'm pressing enter we can use the guided use entire disk setting as we wish to use all 32 gigs of our drive in one petition so we'll press enter for that selection we're asked to select our drive at this point and it looks like it's our qem drive so we'll go ahead and press enter and all files in one partition is our desired configuration so again we're going to press enter this is also the recommended step for new users we'll press enter here at finish partitioning and write changes to the disk this is going to tell the partitioning tool to write all the changes to the disk officially configuring the disk for the installation of Debian 12. At this point, we want to hit over arrow to select yes, telling it that we indeed want to make these changes to the disk and press enter. The base Debian system will install at this point. I'll be back with you when this process completes to show you the rest of the end steps of installing Debian server on top of your Proxmox server in a VM. So the installation process for the basic Debian operating system has finished and now it's time to get into the little bit more complex installation installation process. The installer is asking us to configure the package manager for Debian 12 and asking us if we'd like to scan for additional media for use in the package media. And we have no additional media that we need to use here as we're going to be using mostly vert IO drivers for our Proxmox system. So we're going to select no and press enter. Debian now wants to know which mirror we're going to use for updating and since we're in the United States, let's use United States. So press enter and we'll use the top default one for Debian. So we'll press enter. We do not have a proxy on our network. So we're just going to press enter. Now it's asking us if we want to supply information to the developer about what we're going to do. We do not wish to participate in this survey, so we'll select no. If we do, we'd hit the over arrow selecting yes. Now we'll press enter. At this point is where we determine if we have a server install of Debian or a desktop of install in De of in Debian. So what this installer is asking us is if we want to install a desktop environment and then which desktop environment we would like to install. Since we don't want a desktop environment and we want a server installed, we're going to go ahead and use our up and down arrows to move our red box in each of these fields and our spacebar to select or deselect them. The first one we want to deselect is Debian Desktop Environment, and then we want to deselect Genome. Then moving down, if we want an SSH server or a web server, we'll want to make sure we select each of these options. Since I would like to use SSH later on, let's go ahead, move our red arrow to SSH, and press Enter. Now we can use our Tab key to select Continue and press Enter. The installation will continue with all the necessary software and we'll be back with you after the system reboots to show you our freshly installed 
Debian 12 operating system. So before we can go ahead and reboot our system, we need to configure our Grub bootloader. What Debian's asking us to do is if it can install the Grub bootloader on our primary drive. Since we want our system to boot and we're not going to be doing any dual boot operations or anything like that, we can go ahead and select yes for Debian to install our Grub bootloader on the primary drive. By default, yes is selected, so we just have to go ahead and press enter. Then at this screen, we're gonna go ahead and use our down arrow to select our primary drive, our QEMU drive right here, and press enter. So now Debian is asking for permission to reboot. With default, with continue selected by default, let's go ahead and press enter. And now our reboots process is taking effect. Now we've successfully installed Debian 12, and we can go ahead and log in for the first time. We'll use the username we set up during the installation, as well as the password. There you have it. There's your freshly installed Debian 12 server ready to be used for all of your server tasks. I hope you enjoyed this simple tutorial on getting Debian 12 server set up and running on your Proxmox system, and you consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to help virtualize everything bring you more content. As always, have a good night!